Alright guys, Raw Rossler here and this is going to be my WWE TLC predictions, 2015 predictions, sorry. Uh, I just want to start by saying thank you for the feedback for my first episode of Video Game Versus. I thoroughly enjoyed it, I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it if you watched it, if you haven't, check it out if you're interested. It's The Witcher 3 vs Fallout 4, it was very entertaining for me to do. I played both games before I did it again, so just to get a, a twist for some of the things like gameplay and stuff. So I do want to thank you for sending me feedback. I got some good feedback that... I'm going to work on, I'm also thinking about getting a new camera, a new microphone, stuff like that. Um, of course, this will be my TLC 2015 predictions. Uh, we have two pay-per-views this week with TLC tomorrow night and NXT TakeOver London on Wednesday, which I'm super hyped for. It's going to be on at 8 o'clock, so I can watch it thoroughly and then be up for college in the morning. Yes, I love that. Um, I'm excited for that show, that show should be good. TLC is more... Hmm, should be okay. So let's start off with Ryback versus Rusev. There's no stipulation to this match, and it's kind of a pointless match. It's the first match Rusev's had since he's been back, so it's kind of just a, a one-two to, to you know, make him look good. I assume he'll be, he'll be beating Ryback. Uh, the whole Lana thing, I like the fact that Lana is back with Rusev. She should have never left Rusev, in my opinion. Uh, Rusev should go over pretty easily with the accolade. Should be okay. You know, Rusev and Ryback have decent chemistry. Moving on, we have the Cheers match for the United States title. Jack Swagger versus Alberto Del Rio. I would not have used the Cheers match for this match. I would have used it for the Intercontinental title match. I don't think these guys can... I mean, a Cheers match doesn't go well with Swagger and Del Rio. I don't think their styles really mesh well with a Cheers match. Uh, if you think Jack Swagger's going to win, I... Don't know why. There's zero chance of Jack Swagger winning, I think. I think this is, again, just one to establish Del Rio before John Cena comes back to have his rematch for the title. Uh, Del Rio will probably win with the cross arm breaker, which we haven't seen in a long time, with a, on a, by using a chair, or he could do the double foot stomp onto a chair, maybe put the chair underneath Swagger. Possibly something like that, but Alberto Del Rio is going to be retaining the United States title. Uh, on a night where the League of Nations will, I think, have a pretty good show. Especially if Rusev wins and then Del Rio wins. Moving on, we have the eight-man ta elimination tables match. Uh, I believe this will be every man has to be eliminated. So by the end, we could have up to seven table spots. And that makes it fairly entertaining. This could be the match of the night, in my opinion. You have the ECW Originals, which is going to be Bubba Ray Dudley, Devon Dudley... Um, Tommy Dreamer and Rhino. It's a cool team against the Wyatt family, which of course is Bray Wyatt, Eric Rowan, Luke Harper, Braun Strowman. I think that Eric Rowan will be the first eliminated, probably with a 3D through the table. Uh, I then think of Team Extreme. I would say the two Dudleys will probably stay to last. And I think Rhino could go someone through a table to eliminate him, probably. Possibly Braun Strowman. I think that'd be a really cool thing if he gored Braun Strowman for a table. Um. I do think in the end Bray Wyatt will slam probably Bubba Ray Dudley for a table for the win. Tommy Dreamer will probably be eliminated by Luke Harper. In the end, I do th I'm going to go with the Wyatt family with probably the surviving members being Luke Harper and Bray Wyatt. I think they're the two I'm going to go with. So yeah, the Wyatt family are going to go with, uh, win, I think. Big night for heels. I picked I pick three heels out of three at this point. Speaking of heels... Charlotte versus Paige for the uh, I nearly said NXT WWE Divas Championship. I think this one is fairly obvious. Charlotte is going to win again, and I think this is just going to push a Charlotte heel turn. Uh, it's not going to happen at this show, but I feel like it happened will happen in the near future. So she can feud with Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch is an over face, so uh, there's no point in turning Becky Lynch heel. Do it with Charlotte and have those clash probably before WrestleMania, and then bring Sasha Banks into the mix at WrestleMania. Um, Charlotte will be retaining. I hope they don't do the spear off the barricade spot again because it didn't look good at Survivor Series. But this should be a pretty good Divas match. Uh, again, one of the better Divas matches, I assume, on the main roster. It should be entertaining. And in the end, Charlotte will win by shenanigans, I, I assume. I don't think she'll win cleanly. I assume Ric Flair will be at ringside. I think Ric Flair actually is going to be in ringside, yep. So Charlotte will win, but via shenanigans, and then will feud with Becky Lynch in the near future. Move on to another part of the League of Nations, but these guys are actually all from America. The New Day, actually more part of the Authority, because the League of Nations are part of the Authority, and the New Day seem to be part of the Authority. 
So this is going to be a good night for the Authority, in my opinion, because the New Day, which will be Big E, Kofi Kingston, and or Xavier Woods, so it will probably be the three of them, considering uh, it's no DQ, against the Lucha Dragons, Kalisto and Sankara, against the Usos, in a three-team tag team ladder match. Now, we haven't seen one of these in a very long time, so I think this could be one of the matches of the night. I think in terms of spot fests, I think the Lucha Dragons could do very well. I think the Usos could do very well. We know the Usos are good at spot fests. Look at Payback 2014 in the last one standing match. Um, and I think uh, Kofi Kingston's incredible at spot fests, so I think this could be an amazing spot fest. Um, in the end, I would like the Lucha Dragons to win, but I don't think they will, because I don't think they've built the Usos or the Lucha Dragons up enough. I don't want the Usos to win. I think they're kind of boring now. They had that really hot streak in 2014 where they were knocking off, like, um, you know, teams like the Wyatt family. And that was, like, a great streak for them. But here, they're a little bit more boring to me now. Uh, and in the end, I hope the New Day win. Uh, I hope the New Day retain the tit titles because they're coming on a quite a long reign now. And uh, it could be a great match. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm going to go with the New Day. Uh, singles match for the WWE Intercontinental title, Kevin Owens versus Dean Ambrose. This could start a rivalry. A very entertaining rivalry over the IC title, which we really need. We haven't had a great IC title rivalry in ages. And I think that Owens and uh, Ambrose could deliver some great matches. This match should have been a chairs match. This could have been an awesome chairs match, because these guys both have CZW backgrounds that could really help them. Um, in the end, I think Kevin Owens is going to retain because in the first match it wouldn't make sense for Ambrose to beat him straight away. I think they need to build it up and then have Ambrose beat him. Or possibly Sami Zayn sometime, please, because he's back, obviously, he's in uh, England at the moment. I saw he was in Newcastle, he had a match with Finn Bauer. I can't wait for Sami Zayn to come to the main roster, I'm going to be so pumped when that happens. But I see Kevin Owens beating Dean Ambrose, this should be an amazing match. I think this could be the match of the show, like the one at Survivor Series was, but this should be much better, because I think that can get more time now, it's for the IC title. And the main event, and this is the reason why I don't think the League of Nations will have a full-on show. I think Rusev will win, I think Del Rio will win, I think there's no King Barrett on the show. I think the New Day will retain, but Sheamus will not be retaining the title, in my opinion. I think that the TLC match with Reigns doesn't seem like a main event to me. It doesn't seem like a main event of show. And considering we've had some decent main events recently with the Hell in a Cell match between Taker and Undertaker, with the match at. Uh, you know, we've had some decent sounding main events, like Reigns and Ambrose Standard Ace. Uh, we had the um, Night of Champions match with Sting and Rollins, which was really cool. But this doesn't seem like a main event to me. It, they've added the TLC stipulation, and we know it's for the title, but it just doesn't seem like a main event. It seems like something should be booked over it. And I feel like, normally, Rollins would have been booked over this if he was still there. Um, well, Rollins would have been going against Reigns for the title if he was still there. But this match here, I think, is the reason why the League of Nations are not going to have a fully great show. I think the New Day will retain. I think Rusev will win. I think Del Rio will retain. Sheamus isn't going to retain. I don't think the rivalry has hit its stride like WWE wanted it to, and I don't think it was ever going to. I don't think Sheamus and Reigns is a complex enough rivalry to really have a long feud. It, it doesn't sound too entertaining. I think the match should be pretty good if it turns out to be just a pure on spot fest, because there isn't much story between Reigns and Sheamus. I think there could be some t t uh, good table spots. It could be bro kicks, spears, Superman punches, white noise off the ladders, everything. But, and this is the big but, I don't want Sheamus to win. If Sheamus wins, we are in for a title reign of boredom, and we've already had a title reign of boredom for the three weeks he's had it, so please, Roman Reigns, take the title off Sheamus, and I'm going with Roman Reigns to take the title off Sheamus. So that is my TLC 2015 predictions. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Tell me what you think to TLC, which match are you specifically looking forward to. I'm looking forward to the table match, the ladder match, and the Owens-Ambrose match. So, thank you for watching, guys. This has been Revolver Ocelot. Like, comment, and subscribe for more.